Hey, what's up, world? This is Lucius again with another episode on Demon Gazer. Let's jump right on in. Yeah! Yo! You're here. Ready to head out? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, let's go. We should go and check out a restricted zone right away. There's an entertainment district down the road called Alm Street. I'll show you the way. We can take, or we can talk more after we arrive. All right, I almost left out an important detail about the little girl that joined your party. Oh, I'm not a little girl. I'm pink. Ah, yeah, yeah. I already know who you are. You definitely have to fight some monsters inside the restricted zones. That's why you better think about your party's formation in advance. I think real line fighters can't attack unless using ranged or spear weapons. I'm really, or I really, really like the front line. So she says. Anyway, keep that in mind. I'll see you out, or see you at Home Street. Party order. Yeah, just stuff to keep in mind on formations. Since Peg is a tankish character, you're gonna want her up front. Welcome to Ulm Street, the busiest strip in Asteria. Entertainment districts like this are kind of desolate during the day. Uh, that's not important right now. We're headed for the restricted zone. If we take the alley in the back, we'll reach the 666th Avenue. Right over there, don't get lost. So this is our first dungeon, so to speak. So this is where all the combat comes into play. Welcome to the Restricted Zone. This one's called 666th Avenue. It's the closest one to Stella's place. Off the off-limit regions scattered across the Stereo City are Restricted Zones. Monsters roam free from or inside them. But to keep monsters corralled, demons oversee each of the zones. Well, that's what we're told anyway. In other words, it's dangerous here. Last time you were in one of these zones, you got captured. Well, enough talk. Let's go. There are monsters wandering around, so be careful, you hear me? Oh yeah, because he totally can't help in fights, I guess. Alright, and so locked door can't do anything about that right now. The icon we just walked into Hello. is a guaranteed comfort. fight. Are you ready? How huh? do I fight? Uh, let's see. Do you feel power surging within you? No. Or maybe your eye itches. An ominous voice in your head? Maybe? That's odd. Damn it. Um, I knew this wouldn't work. How the hell am I supposed to know how to control demons? That's a good question. <laughs> Having trouble, are we? So much. I could teach you how to use them. Your demon powers, I mean. You again! Uh... That's the one that summoned the... All those monsters, or soldiers, on me before escaping. This is no awesome. time to chat. Here comes the enemy! Battle time. The best way to learn something is to actually try it out. Let's start with the most powerful technique of all. Pegasus may look like a human right now, but as you know, this isn't her true form. She needs to demonize to unleash her full potential. Demonize allows demons to take on their true form. Demons will obey whatever uh, their demon gazer tells them. So, go ahead. Try to demonize Pegasus. Demonize! It's time to transform a demon. Choose demonize from the demon command list. So the star gauge there... Uh, sometimes you get star gauge uh, to increase. Uh, like for attacking and taking hits. Every turn the demon is in demonized form, it takes from the bar. And then using any abilities the main character has, uh, from the demonized gauge, or the section, 
but also reduce the star gauge, so use it sparingly. <laughs> that was great! Well done, Demon Gazer! Once demonized, the demon will power up in all aspects. Always demonize if you run into a powerful opponent. That said, you should be aware of one thing. To stay demonized, you need to use the star gauge. Think of it as... Demon controlling magic. Demonization will end once the star gauge is depleted. If the scar star gauge is depleted, the demon will revert back to normal. The star gauge fills as you fight in battles. Oh, I almost forgot. While demonized, a special skill is available. Each demon has a unique command called the demon skill. Pegasus can use Iron Shell, which boosts, which will boost defense. Having a demon skill can make a huge difference. Just another reason to keep demon eyes in mind at all times. Activate them from the demon command while demon eyes a demon skill can be chosen from the character commands. Those are the skills that I was mentioning before. Those use up the star gauge too. But depending on the effects can change the tide of battle. That should do it. Well, good luck in battle. Repeat function, just push triangle and I'll use the last action you issued, which can be helpful just to make things go quickly. And that was the first random encounter. Pretty easy stuff for right now. So as I'm going job through... job well done. Although, I'd expect no less from a demon gazer. Just uh, for me going through some areas, or through here at least, I'll be just spamming triangle. It's not too hard yet. What's your game? I gave you that demon gaze, so I'd prefer it if you used it properly. So then you're the one that was behind the kidnapping and the demon gaze? So I owe all this trouble to you. Don't make me laugh! It's because of you bastards that he lost his memory. Demon gaze aside. Valid point. Well, let's all take it down a notch. I'm not here to start a fight. I mean, you guys do want to know how to use it, right? Yeah. Wh what did you say? <sighs> Don't misunderstand. Power will seek its own purpose. That said, huh. you are unable to teach someone how to use this vital power. Without the ability to control demons, you have no means to protect yourself. Damn it. He has a point. So, what should we do? As much as I hate it, we should accept his help. <laughs> You're a pretty good guy. I think I like you, Demon Gazer. Fine. Come with us if you want. But do anything funny, and you're dead. All right, that works for me. Well, it may be a brief collaboration, but let's get along, Demon Gazer. Huh, interesting. Do you see the circle? Approach that first, then we'll talk. So, I think if I remember I mentioned briefly earlier about, uh... Circles and the gems, or I think at least the gems. Uh, the gems is what you would put inside of the circles. All right, we made it. We call this a circle. It is mainly con considered a demon's territory. Control them all, and the demon can no longer hide. Then, in a restricted zone, a demon circle will appear. It grants entry to their lair. So, do you understand? Control a circle. Try to be more detailed. Alright, to put it simply, step into the circle and then use a gem. Demons will appear, lowered by the gem used. Defeat them in order to control the circle. That's about it, give it a try. Wow, that was great, such a concise lecture. You're just awful at it. Well, that was accurate. Seeing is believing, so... Here, give it a try. Receive several gems. Shield gem and a helm gem. I forgot to collect my other gems. I, no, I, I think I have them. Never. I don't remember. 
Okay, so depending on what's used, you are guaranteed that drop. Now, if it's going to be better than what you currently have, is up for debate. Because it is kind of RNG. Something approaches, and let's just get rid of them. Simple, simple. Oh. And the, uh... Elegant corset one, how that's a different color than the rest, like the icon, that means it's a unique item. Okay. Cool. And then I'll show you the equipment here soon. Gain control of Libra Circle. Five more to com until complete control. Congratulations, now this control. Now, or you now control the circle. Oh, I almost forgot. The type of gem used in the circle affects the type of gear you receive. Swords, gems for swords, etc, etc. They should speak for themselves. While back there were a ton of bounty hunters after this stuff. Or while back there were a ton of bounty hunters after this stuff. Huh. Some people can be so carefully carefree, can't they? Well, to be sure to use the gems wisely, if you need to lead a revolution. What are you trying to pull? I am merely stating facts. Didn't I tell you that power must be used properly? It's about time to wrap this up. There's one more circle nearby, so go and gain control of it. You should be able to handle things without me butting in. However, I'll chime in if anything noteworthy occurs on our way. Now then, let's start exploring. Okay, so like I said, I will go through the equipment. So, as you saw, I got a headpiece. Definitely keep in mind the types, because like that sphere that's next to the E, E is the grade, so the higher the letter, the higher or grade of the item. The orb next to it is its element, so right now it's a null element. Like the leather chest is green, so any earth attacks will do less damage, but I'll take more damage from fire. And always keep a mind on the uh, accuracy and cut. Cut is basically a flat out uh, percentage uh, damage reduction, which is always helpful. Like, this one isn't bad, so I get a special defense buff, uh, buff and the healing buff, so that's good for her to use. Plus, the evasion minus one isn't terrible, but everything else makes up for it. And we'll give her the battle cape, too. So she has 1% magic defense uh, percent cut, which is very helpful. Well, I mean... Not now, 1% isn't much, but it will add up in time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's about everything for right now that I can think of. I'm just getting all that out of the way. Okay, so in this room, how it pretty much looks like there's nothing here, except for that weird purple thing, or pink thing right up ahead. Um, one of the abilities, if I remember right, that, uh, what's her face? Yeah. Peg has? She's able to see those, uh, holes, or the walls, where something can be there. So like a, for her it'd be a hallway, or a door that she can open up. Uh, this is it. Kick the wall to reveal a door, so that's always very helpful. What? Because there's a lot of dead ends, and so having that is tremendously helpful, as opposed to going through every single area and kicking all the walls. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Oh, that's right. I had forgotten that such things existed. For, for a moment, I thought we had gotten lost again. Take a good look at the wall in front of you. There's a pink light. Oh, 
So you noticed. The wall is obscuring a hidden door. Try giving suspicious walls like this one a good kick. The hidden door is being obscured, that should make it visible. What a pain. I agree. There's gotta be a quicker way. Some demons have certain skills that come in handy during explorations. As luck would have it, Pegasus here has a skill that locates hidden doors. <laughs> yep, leave it to me. Choose the demon best suited f uh, to the location that you are exploring. It's yet another part of your job as a demon gazer. <sighs> Don't act cocky when your Magna Star's lackey. Well, you heard the man. Give the wall a kick. <laughs> yes, try it. And that's exactly what I just told you. And you can change demons at the circles. Oh, and another thing about circles. Um, see how this one's grayed out? You cannot uh, constantly like put more gems in it to farm more stuff. You can only do that once. But once you leave the dungeon and come back, then you can redo it again. So if you're farming uh, equipment and stuff, you're gonna have to uh, circle around, get all of them, and then leave the dungeon and come back and rinse and repeat. Just keep doing that then. It does get a little bit annoying, but I mean, that's the way the game was designed, so not much that can be done. And since we're both level 1, there isn't exactly much that I can do at the moment. Like, ability-wise, and MP is uh, very scarce right now. Fairy Balm. Okay, so... yeah. I'm gonna make him into a dual wielder. Unlike my main pro... Uh, my original time going through this. Uh, I was having him do wield for a while. But, uh... Wind up, um... Getting, like, this really good two-hand sword later in the game. So there was no real need for me to have the dual wield. Not just because we have that attack skill. Let's see if she'll move quick enough to use it. Oh, that wasn't a bad animation. Huh. Oh, a wood katana. Bakken? I guess that's how you would pronounce that? I have no idea. So like I said for her, uh, it'd be best to upgrade vitality because she's a tank. So the more defense and more health, the better. Yes, very well done. Looks like you'll fulfill your role as Demon Gazer nicely. That's all I can teach you. Oh, although... Not like I know your intentions, but... If you control all of the circles in an area, a demon circle will appear. By entering it, you can take care of the demon in charge of that area. So if you want to subjugate a demon, you need to control the circles first. I don't know your endgame, but... You did help us out today, as much as I hate to admit it. That's quite alright. I have my reasons for doing so. How about it? You understand how to handle demons for the most part now, right? Give me gems. Don't get greedy. You'll get plenty in time. I think we should head back for today, though. By the way, are you... Huh? That guy slicked off, huh? Tch. We're to the very end, that guy. Phew, made it back. <laughs> it's comforting to get back home after all that work. Be sure to return here if you ever get in trouble, okay? Nothing good will come from overdoing things. Auto healing. Pretty much any effects. Except for death will be healed once you return back home, and all health and MP will be restored too. Jeez. 
I didn't expect to run into that guy again. I wonder what his motive was in approaching us. Well, we weren't getting anywhere with my lessons anyway, so I guess he did help us out. Alright, first things first, we should check in with the manager. Oh, if you're looking for her, she's at the tavern instead instead of the manager's room right now. Huh? Why is that? She's been waiting for you two for quite a while now. She said she couldn't handle just sitting in her room waiting. That sure sounds like her. Alright, let's go to the tavern. Okay, so for that, we'll leave it for the next episode. Thanks for joining in, and hopefully in the here soon everything will kind of pick up a little bit. Well, at least from my point of view, where it's more combat than me having to read everything. But, thanks again. I hope you all have a great evening, afternoon, day, night, brunch. I like brunch. Later, y'all. God, that was so lame.